Hello, I'm Chris Menard. One of Zoom's best security features is the waiting room. And effective on April 4th, 2020, the waiting room is enabled by default. Let's just go take a look at my list here. I'm going to show you how to see where the waiting room is turned on in the web settings first. Then I'm going to go and schedule a meeting. Then I'm actually going to show you how the waiting room works. If people try to join your meeting and the waiting room is enabled, so even if they have the meeting ID and the password, if you required one, they don't come into your meeting immediately. They're held in a waiting room. And if it's just them, they're by themselves. But if there's multiple people, they're in there with multiple people. And a cool feature is they cannot see each other. So it's not like a physical waiting room at a doctor's office. And a cool example of how I would use this waiting room is if I was doing initial interviews and I was in HR and I had to interview 10 people, this is one time I may use my personal meeting ID so I don't have to do 10 invites. And then after I use my personal meeting ID, I would tell everyone what time to join the meeting, but they would come in there and they would go to the waiting room where they can't see the other applicants and I would just pull them in one at a time to my meeting and when they're done I would kick them out of the meeting because they can't come back in and even if they did come back in if I had that setting on they still go to the waiting room so that's a cool example of when to use the waiting room I've got more examples coming but let's go ahead and look at some settings first so I'm already signed in to zoom.us up in the URL over on the far left is settings. When you go to settings, I don't feel like looking for it, so I'm going to do a control F, type in waiting. Here it is. I've been playing around here. I'm going to hit reset. So this is the default right here. The waiting room is turned on, and it's turned on for all participants. Zoom has this really cool feature. So what if you're part of my organization and you're on my Zoom account. There's no reason for you to go to the waiting room because I know who you are. You're not going to Zoom bomb me. So I could do guest participants only. And if you notice right there, it says users in your organization are going to be admitted automatically. So that's a really, really cool feature. I'm just going to leave this as all participants right now, which is the default. I will make another video on how to customize your waiting room with a logo, some cool information about why they're in the waiting room and even a title, but I'll do that on another video. So we're done with the web. You see the waiting room is on by default. Back to Zoom, the actual desktop client. I've already pulled it up. I've already signed into it. Here's a tip from me. If some setting on the web is not working, when you're in the desktop app, sign out and then sign back into Zoom. That always fixes a lot of stuff for me, including when I was testing this, the waiting room was getting a little messed up. I signed out, signed back in, and I'm good. Here we go. I'm going to schedule a meeting. Uh, this is going to be a marketing meeting. I'm going to leave it for 1 p.m. today. I'm going to go for an hour. I could change the time. ID, password, password was required on April 4th also. It generates a six digit password. I could turn that off, but here's the cool feature. Under advanced options, enable waiting room is checked because remember, that is the default now. One other nice feature is if, if this was all internal people, I may not use the enable waiting room, but if I was meeting with a lot of vendors, I'm absolutely going to turn on the enable waiting room possibly. So that's a cool feature. You can use it for one meeting, but not for the next meeting. But I'm going to leave it running because that's what we're here for. A bit of advice. Enable join before host. If the waiting room is checked, it overrides enable join before host. So even if people have the meeting ID and even if people have the password, they will not better join before me if the waiting room is turned on. So I almost wish that they would gray this out when that is checked, but just so you know, that does absolutely nothing right now. So I'm going to hit schedule. 
There's my meeting ID. There's the password Zoom came up with. Just so you know, in the actual scheduling, in the actual scheduling of the meeting, the waiting room isn't mentioned. So you see it when you actually start the meeting. So I'm gonna hit send to update or send message. So now Christian is gonna join. I'm gonna start the meeting. Christian is gonna join. Let me show you how the waiting room actually works. Hey, it's Chris Menard. Let me go ahead and start this meeting that has the waiting room enabled. So meetings, start. I am the host. I'm gonna join with computer audio. I'm hoping I'm unmuted. I'm hoping this is recording. Notice it says manage participants. I'm the host, has the number one. Christian should be joining in just a second and it should change to the number two and start flashing. That is a waiting room feature. And let's turn my video on. There is Christian joining. If it's only one person, I could just admit Christian. But if there's multiple people, I may want to see the waiting room. So here's see waiting room. Christian, I would see Christian and everyone else. You can't see it because there's only one person, but trust me, to the left of message would be admit all. So you can either admit one person at a time or admit everyone. I'm going to hit admit. Hey. Hello. I hope this is working. <laughs> so far so far so good and it's yeah. still and uh camtasia is still recording by the way i'm looking down there so <laughs> okay all right hey uh so if you would i want to show people what the waiting room screen looks like when you're a participant waiting so i'm going to go and make you the host right and then i want you to send me to the waiting room which is another cool feature you can send people back to the waiting room so i'm going to make christian the host first so yes, he's the host, and now he's going to send me to the waiting room. All right, here we go. There you go, and hopefully I am still recording. Good. This is the screen you see on your waiting room right here. He's letting me back in. Oh, he just sent me a message. Um... That's cool. Let's get you back in now. So you can message people in the waiting room. You're back. Hey, that was cool. I got you. You sent me a message too. That was very nice. So you can message the entire waiting room. Just so you know, you cannot message a certain person in the waiting room. So it's all or nothing when you do the messaging. If yeah. the people that are in the waiting room, they cannot see each other. So it's not like a physical waiting room when you go see a physician or a doctor. When you're in that waiting room, you don't see anyone else. So this would be great for first-time HR interviews. It would be great for health professionals. So that, Honestly, that's really easy, right? Am I missing yeah. anything? Yeah. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Makes sense, yes. All right. Hey, can you tell uh, everyone real quick what you did with the – virtual video backgrounds which both of us have running we uploaded 25 i'll let you tell them you go ahead yeah we uploaded about 25 of them to the zoom uh help center uh, on your website and after i did that i had to resample them because they were kind of large download files you know so i'm i still made them hd but they're much smaller now so you can go and head over there and download them and uh, use them for your meetings they're mostly nature, nature pictures and videos. Okay. All right. Still works, though. All right. Hey, our next video, we need to show people where to get free images from and how to batch resize them in case you just want to use an image in Zoom because, you know, they're 6,000 pixels wide by something, 4,000. Yeah. That's way too big. So. Yeah. All right. If you're up for that one, that'll be our next one. Sure. Okay. Have a okay. good day. I'll talk to you later. All right. Yeah, Bye-bye.